So back before I started doing commissions, I uh, was working with a friend of a friend to make a 3D model of the interior of a spaceship. And he had designed this spaceship as a labor of love uh, on in uh, Windows, uh, Windows Paint, I think. Um, and it was all full of, of details and fancy things and uh, it's supposed to be for Star Wars, a Star Wars spaceship. And uh, so that was the, the computer bay. Here's the medical bay. And of course, like, I hadn't done anything really good before. This is kind of the, the first project where I, I really applied myself and tried to make something good. Well, I mean, there was, uh, there was robot cuisine. But anyway. Uh, so I think I made this. This wasn't quite at the very end of the the effort, but it was pretty close to the end of the effort on my part of um, of putting together a walkthrough on the interior of this spaceship. And I don't know if he responded to it or or not, but I feel like this was kind of near the end of um, of our our effort to to make this thing. So it, I've got all the models still. It's it's all there. It's just kind of a you know. Kind of a funky thing. Uh, the main problem was that the style wasn't quite right. Uh, so here we are in the cockpit. I'm just going to loop it again. Keep talking about it. Uh, so we start off here at the back of the ship, and there's these long corridors, and these are like the interrogation chambers or something like that. Uh, but you can see all the corridors are are just blank. Yeah, this interrogation chamber, all just blank hallways. They're not uh, adorned in any way. They don't look like Star Wars. Uh, none of the doors really look like Star Wars. None of the, not, nothing really looks like Star Wars. I was just kind of making uh, something halfway between my own idea of what would look neat and my own idea of what would actually, what it really should look like. And um, let's see, there's lots of halfways here. Halfway between how he had drawn them. So like all of these, um, all of these, objects, scene settings and stuff were basically put in based on the the stuff that he had drawn, like he had drawn little icons and I don't know where he got the icons from, maybe he drew them himself or whatever, but uh, I just basically took those and went like, well, that's clearly his artistic vision, so I'm just going to do that and he's got to be happy with it because that's what he drew. It's just like, you know, it's stupid. I had, Like I said, I hadn't done, ever done commissions and stuff before, so I didn't have a good sense of uh, how to read what the, or how to ask really what the client wants and uh, figure out what he needs to, to have to, to make that happen. So anyway, this is the first spaceship I made. And uh, I mean, you know, really made. Uh, try to flesh out and do the interiors for. And yeah, I think it turned out okay. I mean, it's certainly not done. It needs a lot more work to, to make it really look good. Uh, all the hallways and corridors and stuff need to have proper proper fi uh, fittings and, and cool stuff on them. And uh, all of the all of the props need to be styled properly. Nothing's nothing styled properly. It's all just just my own nonsense version of them. But you know, that's how it goes, especially for oh, excuse me. Oh, this is late. Especially for first try. So, anyway, I figured I'd put this up just to show it off and, uh, you know, just so it's not going to waste. Kind of like with the other stuff. This is kind of halfway between the start of uh, doing commissions and um, before that, just doing whatever the heck I wanted. And so this is kind of like my first effort to try to make something that someone else would like as opposed to just making something that I liked for my own sake. And uh, yeah, it certainly pushed me to, to make something that I would never have taken the time to do before. And uh, it pushed me to learn how to use Blender a lot better. Uh, this I think this is one of the first major things I made in Blender as well, so it's a first for a lot of things. But um, yeah, if you're interested, I can uh, send you the models, or you can subscribe to my Patreon! And I can give you the models through that, because that's kind of how I'm trying to do things these days, is uh, get people on Patreon so I can make co more cool stuff. Uh, and I don't really need to be on Patreon to make cool stuff. Uh, 
I mean, I have a day job, but I'd like to not have to go to work because this takes a lot of time. You know, this, this was over the period of months and months making all this stuff. And uh, I'd like to be able to do stuff. Now, it would take me, uh, well, not certainly not months, maybe a day to make all this stuff again uh, from scratch if I had to. Because um, I've gotten a lot better. But if, uh, if I had more time to work on stuff, I could make more things like uh, the, um, I don't know, I'll put some links in the, in the description for some of the new stuff that I've been making. And uh, you can decide if it's worth the, the money and your support or not. But uh, anyway, I'm trying to, to get on Patreon so that I don't have to go to work so much and I can spend more time with my family and spend more time doing creative stuff like this or, or whatever. And uh, I'd like to move back toward, I've been doing commissions for uh, almost a decade now. And um, so this was made almost a decade ago. And I'd like to move back toward doing more of the kind of stuff that I would like to do. Uh, not taking commissions so often, not uh, doing stuff for other people so much, but kind of exploring my own creative vision and, and working on the stuff that I would like to, to work on. But uh, if no one's going to pay me to do that, then I can't afford to do it. i got to feed the family. So um, if that's something that sounds like you might like it, then yeah, head on over to Patreon and, and uh, pledge a few bucks a month. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.